Number nine, finished ninth in the conference, the Texas A&M Aggies. Not a whole lot on them. You know, Mike Elko coming back is definitely something that you, you, you're you intrigued by as a Texas A&M fan, him being familiar with the program as a DC and what he did for Duke coming back. Um, you got a quarterback in Connor Weigman who had a lot of injuries as a sophomore, but a team last year in seven and six, um, not a lot of expectations. You open up with Notre Dame, which I'm really shocked they're favored in that game. Personally, as a Notre Dame fan, I find that disrespectful. But for Texas A&M with the NIL money they have, I think they really, if you can buy in from El- from Mike Elko, who we're both fans of, I think this year, you know, if you can kind of make it to a bowl game, win six, seven games, I think it's a plus for A&M. Yeah, I think, um, I, again, the, the SEC now is just such a gauntlet. I just don't know. It'll be interesting to see, though, because he did such a good turnaround at Duke. It'll be interesting to see how he transfers over to Texas A&M. Uh, fun fact. Offense coordinator for Texas A&M, former Kansas State quarterback Colin Klein Ooh. is the new offense coordinator at Texas A&M. I think that'll be a fun matchup with uh, with with him and uh, Connor Weigman, young quarterback in the scheme that he did there. Um, was he at? Um, he was at Kansas State before that. I'm assuming. Yeah, he was. He was at Can- uh, Colin Klein. Yeah, as an OC. Mm, I'll have to look that one up. I'm pretty sure he was at Kansas State. Man, we're looking up a lot of stuff today. <laughs> There's well, so with much. The, with the amount of movement that happened this year. Bro, you have to when you research these teams for the SEC preview. But we mentioned they opened up with Notre Dame. Luckily for this team, too, for a and you do not face Georgia. You don't face Alabama this year. You don't face Ole Miss. But that game against Texas the last week of the, of the season is definitely one um, to watch out for for a and Any closing thoughts for you as we kind of move on to Auburn? The, last, the only thing I have to say about Texas A&M, how the mighty have fallen. You guys went from the number one recruiting class of all time to barely making bowl games, guys. Oof, oof. What's going on? What's the going hire on? of Jimbo Fisher definitely uh, put one, put put the Aggies in this position. Hopefully Mike Elko can kind of turn them around.